Monterey's Cook and Pisto Style is brought to you by the Economic Development Corporation of Monterey County and the Monterey County Board of Supervisors. Hi, welcome to Monterey's Cooking. I'm with my two little friends today. This is Ashley, Ashley Phillips, and this is Sal Mercurio. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay. I'm doing this program for a specific reason. I heard on TV the other day that children do not eat vegetables if they're served in the cafeterias. So I take that up as a challenge. We got in touch with our people in Salinas Valley. There just happens to be a campaign going on nationwide about five fruits and vegetables a day. So I went down to the store. I went to Joe uh, at uh, Monta Vista Market here in Monterey, and Sal helped me. We picked, I took one of everything, <laughs> and we brought them here. We made a nice arrangement. And these vegetables during the course of the season, course of the year, are grown here locally. Okay. So what I thought we'd do is make a little menu up. Everyone likes pasta, right? Everyone likes salad. And you guys eat a lot of vegetables at home, right? Right? Right. Okay. And you like vegetables. You kids like vegetables. I know you do. I know you do. And you like fruit, too. Yeah. So I don't know where that report was coming from. But anyway, what we're going to do today, because you guys like pasta, we're going to make a pasta sauce out of fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make a nice garden green salad using whatever kind of vegetables that Ashley wants to put into the salad. Okay, so let's get started. All right, Sal, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you're going to have the fun, get the fun thing. You are going to get to squash these with your hands. Now, let me show you. So, Sal, I want you to get in there and squeeze that. I want all the juice out. Then throw it there nicely. Mm -hmm. Now, is this fun or what? Mm -hmm. I bet you always wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Let me see you try it. Get, keep it low so it doesn't go all over the place. Hard. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> okay, you keep doing that. Do them all. Okay, let's go over to the salad now. Now, we're going to use iceberg. You like iceberg? Yep. Now, we're going to use iceberg as our base salad. Okay. Now you know this is, has any of your classes taken you out to Salinas Valley yet to see where they grow all these beautiful vegetables? No. They haven't? I think they do. I'm not sure what age they start, but they will eventually take you out there. And they'll show you how all this stuff is grown and how they harvest it and how it goes all over the place. All over the, all over the world now. We were in France and Italy. We're seeing stuff from California there. Amazing. Okay, we're going to put this kind of stuff in it, right? We're going to put iceberg lettuce. Let's put iceberg chunk. All right. How about spinach? You like spinach? Yes? A little, yeah. A little? Mm -hmm. You want to taste some? Make sure we, you like it. If you don't like it, we won't put it in. Now, remember, we're going to put a dressing on this. What do you think? It's okay. We'll put a little bit. You you put as much as you want. Let me go check on Sal. You put as much as you. Okay. How you doing, Sal? Good. Keep it low. Keep it low. Okay. Take your time though. Don't go too fast. All right. You're doing a good job. Okay. That's as much spinach as you want. Yeah. Good. Now. Okay. What else we're we gonna put? How about some fennel? Okay. You like fennel? Now we've tasted this on another show, right? So we'll put just. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Oop. Good. All right. This is gonna, this is gonna be right into our five a day. But we're gonna, they should rename this ten a day. Okay, cucumbers. You like them? Mm -hmm. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Now what else? Mm -hmm. Uh, corn. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Raw corn. You like raw corn? Yeah. You ever taste raw corn? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. 
Want to taste some? Okay. Tastes better raw than cooked to me. You know what this one is? This is that new vegetable that man's packing has developed and it's half asparagus and half broccoli. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Want to taste it? Here. It's got a great flavor. Real sweet. What do you think? We should put some in there? All right. You tell me when to stop now. Stop. Okay. Half asparagus and half broccoli. Good one, boys. Good going, you guys. This is a it's a winner. Uh, okay, how about bell pepper? Okay. Now, if you don't like it, you tell me. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Ah. Stop. All right. This is coming out pretty good. How you doing, Sal? Good. All right. You having fun yet? Mm-hmm. Uh, what else we got here? These are... Oh, how about some onion? You like red onion? Yeah? Your mom put it in salads when she makes salads at home? Uh-uh. Is it a little too strong for you? You know, if these onions are too strong, I'll give you a secret. Have your mom cut them, put them in water, and then use them the next day, and it'll take all the sharpness. Ooh. You know how sometimes they burn you? But they still have that nice, crunchy flavor. I'll cut it real, real thin. Tell me when. Stop. Whoop. How many vegetables have we got so far? Seven, eight, nine? Yeah. Easy. Okay. Um, ooh, how about this guy? Yeah. Now, what is this? Turnip. Looks like a turnip to me. Now, most people think you have to cook turnips to eat them, huh? But we know different, don't we? Yeah. I like them better raw than cooked. <laughs> it tastes like an apple. Okay, tell me when. Geez, this is a nice salad. Okay, what else we got? Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. We have got. Oh, how about some of? Uh, how about some of this one? We put any of that in there yet? Nope. No. Some red. All right. Now remember, we're gonna have to eat this. I don't got no more tomatoes. Okay, you know what you do? Squeeze them one more time. You wonder what? You can wipe your hands anytime you want to. Squeeze them again, one more time. Then where do we put them? Put them right back there again. Boy, you got a lot of juice out of there. Wow, Sal. See how much juice? That's it. Okay, tell me when to stop. Uh, okay, how about broccoli? Uh, no? If you don't want to put it in, you don't have to. What do you think? No? Uh -oh. Cauliflower? Okay, hey B, you gotta be honest. Okay, when we come back, we will continue this masterpiece by the two children of God. <laughs> Now you guys can listen to me. I'm going to show you how to make this. Okay, now I don't want you to forget. It's going to be a test after. Okay. Okay? Mm. All right. Don't you love it when they're like that, huh? They listen to you. Yes and no. Okay, I'm going to chop all these up. Chop it up coarse. Now this is called uncooked tomato sauce for pasta. And Sal took all the seeds out, or a lot of the seeds. And we're using actually four different kinds of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You see that? Look, chop, 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 chop. Sounds like a Chinese program. Martin Yen. Chop, chop, chop. Didn't think that was funny? Huh? It was funny. Huh? It was funny, thank you. Okay. Now. Let's throw all these tomatoes back in here. Now you guys like garlic, right? Mm. Yeah. A little bit. 
we're going to do something very, very easy. We're not going to put a lot of garlic because I know you guys don't like too much because it stinks. Who said that? Who said it stinks? Me. You did? Yeah. It smells a little, it smells a little strong. Mm -hmm. But you'll like it, I guarantee you. The older it, you get... It sort of makes your eyes water. Makes your eyes water? Yeah, it does sometimes. But you'll see, the older you get, the more you're going to like it. I don't know why. Okay, you see what I'm, I've got? Some fresh garlic cloves. Mm -hmm. We smash it down. I would let your mom do this part. Okay, just chop it, chop it real, real fine. Okay, and that's gotta be, if you wanna put this in the machine, in a food processor, you can. Okay, that goes there. Got fresh garlic. Now, you know what this is? Yeah. What is it? Smell, smell, uh, smell good? Smell good? Basil. Good. I knew it. You knew it? Uh -huh. Mmm. Now smell it with my hands in the garlic. Mmm. Is that good? Mixed. Huh? It's mixed. It's good, huh? It's like perfume. It says Italian perfume. <laughs> mm. Okay. Now, basil. Here we go. Now you guys go and see all the plants growing out in Salinas Valley. You see all these beautiful produce, uh, mm -hmm. mostly in the summertime. You know in the wintertime what happens? They die. Yeah, they, well, it gets, it gets a little too cold, so they go, they go to Arizona and Mexico and start growing down there because it's warmer. Then springtime, if you go out in springtime in Salinas Valley, it's absolutely gorgeous. Everything's starting to come up. The trees are starting to bloom. You ever see the trees with all the blossoms on them? Mm -hmm. Huh? They're great, huh? Yeah. You ever smell it? Ooh, smells so good. I mean, it's incredible. And when we come back, we're going to continue with this beautiful lunch with my two fantastic guests. Okay, let's finish off the sauce. I put, now you guys know what this is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it? Basil. Mm -mm. Uh, smell it again. Mint. Yeah, smell good. But it is basil. No, it's mint. Let's put some of this chopped mint Better in there. The other stuff is basil, right? I'm sorry? The other stuff is basil. The other stuff was basil. This is mint. Let's chop some fresh mint in here. Ooh, does that sound good? Olives? Yeah. Go ahead. Now these are made by all Italians who are worth their weight in anything. And there are a lot of Italians are worth, they got a lot of weight <laughs> to be worth. <coughs> Make their own olives. This is from my friend. Nope. Okay, these are a little strong. These are dried. You like them, Sal? You love them? Sal likes them. Okay. We're going to put a few olives in there, all right? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. We'll take the pith out because... Uh, now, Sal, you wanted to ask me some questions on something? Mm -hmm. What was it? Mm -hmm. That, um, what, um, how, uh, what are we going to um, do with the sauce? With the sauce? Okay, this is going to be for pasta. Oh. We're not going to cook this. It's going to be raw. See, I'm going to toss it now with some good olive oil, extra virgin <coughs> olive oil. You know what extra virgin means? Uh -uh. Okay. That means it's olive oil that is, uh, is the first cold pressed and it's very, very pure. Okay, we won't put too many olives, right? Whoop. All right. Thought we lost you there. Okay. That. Okay, we'll put some olives. Now you can put green olives, you can put capers. Mm -hmm. You know what capers are? Yeah, yeah. little green things. Little green things. Okay, we'll put some salt. Now because of the kids, we're not gonna put, hot pepper goes good in here. And remember, you guys made this. 
Now we'll put a little extra virgin olive oil. Don't be shy. Anchovies are good in there. Who likes anchovies? Me. Who doesn't like anchovies? I've never tried them. you never tried them? <laughs> uh oh I like anchovies. Uh oh What do you think, Dad? Think we should let your daughter taste anchovies? Pretty exotic stuff. Okay, look at our chopped tomato. Okay, these are gonna be cut up a little bit more. Okay, so basically what we're making is a tomato salad. Okay, olive oil, salt, pepper. Very, 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 very simple. I tell you, taste a piece of tomato. See what it tastes like. You too, honey. Okay. Here. What do you guys think? It's good. We're good. It's okay? And we're back. And we're back. Here we go. Let's make the pasta. Sal's starving. I can't believe you eat so much for a small guy. Huh? Mm -hmm. And you too, young lady. I really want to thank you guys for being such good sports with me. Nobody sp spit anything out. Nobody gagged. Nobody said, eh, this is terrible. Right? You guys were good sports. You ate everything except the sweet potato. I ate, <laughs> I ate the sweet potato. I know. You ate everything. I can't believe you. Okay. Pasta's got to go down. Let's let that boil. Don't move. I'm going to get right behind you. Let's make a salad dressing. I'm going to show you how to make salad dressing. You guys want to learn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is very, very, very difficult. And you gotta be real precise. First you give it some salt. All right, then you give it some pepper. All right, you got that? Then you give it some oil. Measure very carefully. And then you give it some balsamic vinegar. And you know what? You got it. That's done. Just kind of turn it around a little bit. You know something? That's done, guys. Okay, kids, pasta's cooked. Now, this is the way you gotta do this. Moms, dads, everyone watch. Do not strain the pasta in a colander, okay? The secret to this guy is to have some of that water incorporate into the tomatoes. All right, see that? How's that smell? Woo! Smell that, Sal? Mm hmm. Smells pretty good, no? Mm hmm. Okay. Here we go. Well, we want to thank Salinas Valley Growers for doing such a wonderful job growing these beautiful vegetables for us and all the hard work and the beautiful re engineering, I guess that's the right word. Coming up with these things like broccolini and geez, who knows what else we're gonna have next year. And remember the five day fruit and vegetable, that program. And I like to get some kids who say they don't like vegetables to come on this show, and I'll bet you I'll turn them around. I think you just gotta you gotta give them a chance to really taste them, taste them differently and Think. Well, what do you guys think? I want to really thank you. Huh? You guys were a great sports. Sal, thanks. Stiffen that up, buddy. Okay, thank you. 
All right. Thanks, honey. Mm -hmm. You've been real great. I'm going to give you a little bit of pasta now. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. I'll give you a little bit of tomato. Look how nice that looks. That look good? Smells good. Smells good? Sal? Oh, ladies first. <laughs> All right. And this has been a really lot of fun. I hope people around the country, you know, write in some letters for me on these. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, our future is our children, and they have really got to be able to experience some of this, these foods that are available to us that they're saying that the kids don't like and they won't eat them, and they push them off the plate. I have to disagree with that because this is, it's been proven right here, you know. Let's get Mom Angie come in. That's Sal's mom. Let's have a little bit of this pasta with us. I want to thank you for having, took Sal out of school. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Here you are. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, Ms. Ashton, or Ashley. I always get mixed up because I have a grandson, Ashton. And we'll do that. So I guess we're going to eat now. The crew's starving. Yeah. We got salad after. Mm -hmm. So again, thanks again. Thanks, Salinas Valley. Growers, thanks to children, mom and dads, and see you next time. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye.